just one thing you could do that you weren't scared about, blank. Could you, what could you do to move forward to make that happen? If there's one thing you could do today that you could do if you weren't scared about blank, what would you do to move forward? So that comes with this last part. I've done this, I haven't, I haven't done this so much here at the LA Studio, but I do this a lot when I go teach everywhere else. So I like to do a catastrophic worst case scenario exercise because I find the, reason, the real reason why we don't move forward in life is because you don't take action. So you sit around and you bitch and moan, as do I, as does everybody, about the limitations of this business. One other thing that's amazing about this business that's changing is even though some people have a, 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 a a traditional trajectory, so they're with WME or CAA or whoever, and then they get a job, and that job leads to a big movie contract or whatever. There are so many loopholes and people breaking through in so many ways. It's seismic shifts happening in our business. The business isn't going to look the way it's looking now in another four years, I'm telling you. So that's great. All of us can be on an equal platform. It's not everybody's here and you're here. All you have to do is just reach and then just shorten the chasm but you're not actually taking action to shorten the chasm. So let's do a catastrophic exercise and then we'll be done. Just find something that you wanna do, but you don't do because you sit around and you think about it 24 seven. So it could be you wanna lose weight, you could, what is it, you wanna uh, get an agent, you give me one that I could work with, but you don't do it because then you start to talk about it. Tamara. Stop. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. What is one? That you overthink. Oh, because the worst case scenario will happen if you try to do it. Um, doing, uh, so stupid, doing stand-up. Okay, this is amazing. So you want to do stand-up, but you don't do it because what's the worst thing that could happen if you did stand-up? Nobody laughed. Okay, great. And what's the worst thing that would happen if nobody laughed? I would, I don't know. Uh, Just work moment to moment. What was the worst thing that would happen if nobody laughed and you were doing stand-up? I feel shitty. Okay, what's the worst thing that would happen if you did stand up and nobody laughed and you felt shitty? I would cry. What's the worst thing that could happen if you did stand up, you nobody laughed, you felt shitty and you would cry? <laughs> Keep going, worst thing. Uh, I would n I wouldn't do it again. Okay, what's the worst thing that would happen if you never did stand up again? Keep thinking an absolute doom and gloom scenario. So if you cried on stage, and you didn't ever want to do it again, what's the worst thing that would come out of you never wanting to do it again? I just I wouldn't try it. Would you never get out of bed in the morning? I'll help you. Let's just work dramatically. Yeah, sure. Because that's how the mind works. Sure. So what's the worst thing that could happen if you did stand up and it ended up in you not doing stand up and you would never get out of bed in the morning? Then I wouldn't, I wouldn't come to the studio. Okay, and what's the worst thing that would happen if you didn't come to the studio? I wouldn't be a teacher. And what's the worst thing that would happen if you didn't become a teacher? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have these incredible students. Great! What's the worst thing that would happen if you wouldn't have incredible friends and students? I would be alone. Well, what's the worst thing that you would be alone, a cat lady all by herself? <laughs> yes! Yes! And what's the worst thing, being a cat lady all by yourself in your own apartment? Cat fur. I would, <laughs> I would die. Okay, you would die alone. I would die alone. Okay, that all comes from doing stand-up. Right there. That's, that's the breakthrough. Yes, that's the breakthrough, people. See, we laugh about it, but when you're in it, your mind has such a lockdown on, I can't do it, it's not possible, it won't happen for me, it's too scary. You have to take action, lean into that what you want to do. Don't worry about the worst case scenario that you're telling yourself in your mind. You actually start to be liberated to see how ridiculous it is. So people, that's your homework. Make sense? Find your worst case scenario around something that you don't want to do, and you got to take action to do it. Call an agent. Get new headshots. Go to the gym. Ask. Get on Tinder. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> don't. I'm here to know. Um, um, whatever else. Yes? Yes. I want you to do it, and then I also want you to notice what you're telling yourself about why you can't do it. And then we're going to just take steps in the direction of it. It doesn't mean that thing is necessarily going to happen tomorrow. Or maybe that thing won't happen at all. But if you move in the direction of that, something else good will happen in your life. I promise you.